fam? How y'all doing? How you doing? Um, so what I've been actually doing is going online to find topics to talk about on YouTube because I'm running low on fuel and sometimes you just get a lost of not having ideas what to talk about. So I found this good one on there and I saved it to my phone. So this video is going to be what's my idea of the perfect man for me, baby, even though I'm not looking. I thought this would be a really, really interesting video if you know me. You know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, at least I got something to talk about. At least I got a video going. Turn that down. Turn it down. At least I got a video going. So I'm just going to be talking about what's my idea of the perfect man for me. So while everybody can have an opinion, it doesn't matter because this video is solely on my idea of the perfect man for me. And I'm getting such a late start in the day. So let's get to it. So I chose as number one, a man of God. Yes. Yes. You understand, as I get older, I've always been a child of God, but as I get older, you realize how important it is. It's like if you don't have no foundation of believing in a higher power, a greater power, power, which is God, then you don't have no morals. You don't have no standards. You get what I'm saying? And you don't have a, a base of the things you would and wouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you truly believe and you honor that great man above, he lays the platform for everything that you do in your life, right? So, having a man of God is important for a million and one reasons. And I'm not talking about a fake poser who just throw his name around. I'm talking about somebody who really value the power and the power of him and the strength and everything he gave us. And he carried that gratefulness into his everyday life. So I would prefer it. Now I get that certain people don't believe in anything. That's, you know, that's their preference. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Hey, as long as you don't worship no dark shit. I'd rather, I'm just saying, I'd rather have somebody that kind of don't have an opinion on it, you get what I'm saying, than somebody that, you get what I mean? Anyway, so let's see what I said for number two. Number two, should I get comfortable? Should I? Number two, I would say, uh, these braids got to come out in another week. Um, number two, I would just say a person that have my daughter's best interests at heart, you know, you know what I'm saying? We can't get anywhere officially as a couple, you know what I mean? If you don't care about my kid, you know what I mean? Because having her best interests at heart, it sets everything up for the relationship to be great to me. Like. You know, sometimes people get in relationships and if you really want to, if you really take that person serious, how you don't care about their children, you know what I'm saying? How you don't care about their kids, like how does none of that matter to you if you really trying to build with that person? If you playing around and you dating or you going on one date, it's like, okay, whatever, but somebody that you're trying to build with, how can you even skip your way around that? So, yeah. And I, and I know, and I know, and I, at the end of the day, I know... When someone is being fake. Like, I can tell when people fake care and all that, so don't even try it. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just whatever. But, yeah. Having my daughter's best interest in heart means that you respect me. And you respect me as a mother. And most importantly, you respect her. You're not going to get anywhere not respecting her. That shit is a dub. Walk off a short cliff. It's not happening. Um, Number three, I chose... I chose being clean. Because the thing about it is, you know, I feel like, I honestly feel like 
I clean up, but I don't like people that's like purposely sloppy, like on some shit like, oh, she'll get it. You get what I mean? Like, sometimes maybe some men could be a little bit more, you know, just throwing stuff here and there. It's not a problem. But at the same time, I don't want it to be a situation where it's just on some kind of like, it's on some like, oh, she'll get it. I'm not a maid. You get what I'm saying? Like, the things I do in the house to keep a house cold, cooking and cleaning is things I do. Because that's just the type of person I am. But I don't like people to purposely be dirty or just, you know, there's levels to it. There's like a little sloppy here and there. But if you're like purposely dirty and just, it's just a massive amount of shit and you just like, oh, she'll get it. Nah, I'm not with that. At all. Number four. Faithful. <laughs> Does that still exist? I think faith will go hand in hand with, I think faith will go hand in hand with being clean. Because if you care about your own body, you ain't gonna be spreading yourself all around and mixing body fluids. I think it's a game out here. Like, I'd rather just be single, you know what I mean? I'd rather just be single. Okay, sorry, I lost my list for a minute. That was annoying. You know what I mean? I would like to just know that somebody is just for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're giving somebody a real shot and y'all really trying to do this, then why wouldn't you just exclusively focus on them? Other people aren't going somewhere. Everybody always ready to hump on something and just be so dirty, like, all over the place. Like, calm the fuck down, please. <laughs> what was that? Number four. Okay, I would say five would be good personality. Like I said in my last video, ain't nobody want nobody that can't tell a joke or take a joke. Like you take the stick out your, okay, take it out, lighten up. Cause me, I'm a jokester. <laughs> I have a young heart, a young spirit, a young, you know, just energy, which is not a bad thing because you just, you feel fresh and new, like. I'm always going to be a jokester. Everybody know I got jokes. She got jokes. Everybody know. Okay, I'm in late for the party. Shake your booty on my Late for the party. Okay, period. So, if you can't laugh with me, then you might as well not even hang out. You might as well not even hang out. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to chuckle, key, 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 key. Like, I'm going to get my laugh on. I need to watch Martin. I need to watch stand-up comedy. I need to have that lightness and that release from the pressures of the everyday world. Like, you know what I'm saying? Who want to sit there with a mannequin all day? Just serious. Like, hey, babe, where's my dinner? You had a good day? Okay, honey. Like, no. No. Laugh chuckle okay laugh it's all right fucking laugh it's okay trust me anybody out there that's too serious did you laugh today did you make somebody laugh today relax it could be a lot worse relax 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 anyway so what was that number five uh like I need some damn water. Let me get a little swiggle. This is my water for me exercising, child. Mm. Get a little water in me. Okay. I would say career driven. Like, of course, you know, you ain't gotta have the whole world and stuff. But I love a man that's constantly making moves in his career and constantly trying to elevate to get that bag. You get what I'm saying? And it's not even all about the money, but as a man, you want to make your foundation to support your family. I'm going to do the same. I mean, to each his own. Excuse me. I'm not a trophy wife or whatever. I'm not going to never feel comfortable sitting home not doing nothing. Even if I got a business from home or a business from the ground, I'm always going to have my own. But at the end of the day, we could take care of each other. But I'm not going to take care of no grown man. That's not going to happen. So it's just like, you know... <laughs> Be in your career, be on your shit because guess what? The same way you able to make your money and take care of bills and treat me out is the same shit I'm able to do if we on that type of time. You get it? Like I love to give. 
I love to give. I'm a giver, but I had to switch my shit up because there's a lot of people that take advantage. And at the end of the day, I would just like it to finally be at an even so that I can enjoy giving and not feel like a dummy or not feel no type of way by giving gifts and stuff like that and doing sweet gestures because that person is on that same type of time as me. You see? Even. Okay? Period. Would be romantic. I need somebody that's romantic because at the end of the day, I don't want a boring ass partner to they go hand in hand with personality because romantic to me could be anything. Like you could laugh at you want, you could feel how I want, but look, these earrings was a dollar and that bay. Listen, not saying I don't would accept or don't like expensive things. It's just about the thought. You get what I mean? Because somebody could buy you a $10,000 watch and they sitting there piping down the next chick or texting the next chick when you sleep. But a nigga that know he only got change in his pocket for a little lunch for work tomorrow and he might have had the only couple of dollars left to after he done paid for his, you know, car fare for the week. And money is tight. But look what he came in. A little dollar earring. I'm not going to look at him like, you know what I'm saying? It's just a small gesture. You get it? Now, I'm not saying like, oh, go buy me dollar earrings for my birthday and shit. Step it up. You feel me? But little small gestures like this, I would not look at it and laugh. I'd be like, okay, you know, that's the stuff I pick up all the time. You pay attention. Romantic. Flowers. Romantic cards notes romantic you get what i'm saying it don't take a lot but these days people don't want to be creative and they don't want to think or whatever have you and they don't want to put energy into it you know what i'm saying hence they probably don't not the one for you or don't want to put energy into you it is what it is let me see one two three four five six seven. number eight i should have made a whole number ten but y'all know i'm random as hell i got nine things on this list number eight expressive i say expressive because nobody's trying to read your mind cue the raven clip <laughs> nobody's, <laughs> nobody's trying to read your mind i can't read it if you don't like something sometimes a person have no idea If you don't like something, you got to speak up. If y'all going to make it work, y'all can talk out. I mean, talk about it and get past it. But if you sit there on zip, then don't flip. <laughs> That's a good one. You sit there on zip, then don't flip. Because sometimes, you know, actually, a nigga don't know what's bothering a girl. Like, they don't think like us. And that's the thing that I don't even be realizing and I still be getting mad for. Because I be thinking about, like, oh, you should be thinking what I'm thinking because that's what I thought. And that's what I said. And you should be knowing me because you know me because you've been with me this whole time. So how you don't know how I feel? Now I'm mad because you don't know how I feel. And I feel like you ain't keeping it real. That's in my head. But guess what? They don't know. They don't know how we feel. They don't know what we thinking, ladies. So expressive and i say that for males and females you get what i mean just be expressive it's not being a sap it's not being a loser it's not being corny it's just saying what's on your mind i said expressive though don't get expressive confused with repetitive because i'm not about to repeat myself for years and years over the same shit that you keep doing but i can be uh, expressive and we can work it out if it's meant to work out and don't ever pray for no shit to work out you don't know what's meant to be and what's not meant to be pray for your your vision to be open and for you to see what's in front of you that's it let god handle the rest last one number nine i believe it is let me see one two three four five six seven eight i would say intelligence intelligence is very sexy to me because at the end of the day I want you to be able to talk about shit. You get what I'm saying? Not just about regular shit like movies or how your day was. Not basic conversation. But can we stay up and read for hours? Can we share ideas? And can we have debates about shit that's going on in this world and back it up with proof? 
You know what I'm saying? And I never used to be on shit like that type of shit. Like, I always wanted somebody intelligent, but it's even more important for me now because this is the year of reading for me, especially since I'm writing these books and stuff like that. I'm just stepping my own knowledge up, and it's a personal choice, so I want somebody that could teach me shit I don't know. And we could also discuss shit, you know what I'm saying? And really leave from that conversation like, yo, he's smart or whatever. <laughs> like, he mad smart or whatever. I might cook him a chicken sandwich, you know what I'm saying? Is nothing more sexy than a beautiful mind? And someone that we can, that I can talk to about serious topics of the world, not just laugh, key, 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 or turn up type of time, but somebody that could really feed my mental something, they can give me something I could walk away with and be like, this is valuable, and actually put their ideas into play to help me in my everyday life. That's the type of shit I like. That's the type of shit I'm on. But if you like this video, like, subscribe, drop me a comment. Nevertheless, I'll be back with another video. Bye, Estafam. See you later.